set now like a tiger was the last one in stall one. Oh, and as the stalls reared up they're often racing like a tiger reared up immediately and lost many lengths out of the gates he's fine and sitting tight was danny musket and he's catching up a little bit now but that was a really unwelcome start for like a tiger demillion has gone straight into the lead here with high honor who tries to go with him and these two settle down just ahead of imperial ace imperial ace followed by sudden ambush and then after Sudden Ambush is Great Bedwin next to Man of Eden and Shabazz over on the far side. And just tucking in now is Like a Tiger after that unfortunate start, keeping company with Regal Empire at the back end of the field. But now High Honor stretches on and takes the lead quite clearly ahead of Imperial Ace. Demillion either doesn't want to or can't go this uh, increased tempo with Great Bedwin next. They're followed through by Sudden Ambush tucked away behind the leaders imperial ace likewise man of eden getting plenty of cover pink jacket of shabazz over on the far side flank being tracked now by like a tiger who's trying to improve and the back marker is regal empire the runners then head down with just a half a mile left to go in the price promise at bet 365 handicap and the leader is high honor but now demillion coming right back to be within a neck or so of the leader then Sudden Ambush makes a move. Indeed, they're all starting to close in a little bit now with Imperial Ace. Satellite is Regal Empire down the near side. Great Bedwin with them. On the far side, Shabazz. And on, right over on the far side is Like a Tiger, who's still in this despite that start as they head then down towards the dip. Inside the two they come. And over on the far side, Shabazz and Like a Tiger have both been produced to go on now. And these two go on from Regal Empire down the stand side in third. And Like a Tiger has now come through to hit the front. He's wandering all over the place. He had a look at the skies coming out of the gates, but it's not going to stop him. He's going to run out a tremendously impressive winner in the hands of Daniel Muscat. Like a Tiger is home. And he beats Regal Empire and Shabazz convincingly. Well, just when I thought I wouldn't be more impressed than I was with Canberra legend in the field and earlier today, like a tiger pops up and they're both trained by James Ferguson. Congratulations, that was an extraordinary win. It was, I, th I think we've got a bit of stalls work to do. I wasn't, expe I wasn't expecting that. Um, Rearing at the start. Oh, he's, he's normally, on a, I promise you, you would put your child on him, he's such a nice ride. Um, and he's such a cool horse, but um, no, unfortunately that happened today, but they didn't go very quick, which helped us out, and uh, he got into a nice stride, and um, no, I was very impressed about the way he finished, you know, uh, he'd obviously done very well from two to three, um, I think the soft ground definitely helps him, he's got a very high knee action, um, and, the further, and the further distance certainly helped him out, you know, he's, he stays all day, and you know, I, I wouldn't, I can certainly see him getting a mile four in time. Yeah, I, I, I could see that as well. He, he's, there's still some greenness at the business end as well. Once he hit the front, he was yeah. just wandering about. I think that's just immaturity. You know, I, I, it was very open, and he didn't have anything to aim at. And um, you know, I, th I, th I think if he had if he had something in front of him, he would have gone even further. So I'm um, very really happy with him. Now this one, like Canberra Legend, although he's got a Guinness entry as well, is in the Dante and the Derby. What is your in your mind's eye you going to do with him? I won't take them on. I won't. I won't. I, I you know, I th well, whatever's right for the horse. We'll see how he comes out the race. Obviously, he's in the Dante, and uh, I'll wait to see what Mr. Bonho and you know the owners of this what they really want to do. Um, and you know, there is a listed race here on Guineas Week, the the, um, the mile two uh, for three-year-olds that I, that I had sort of half penciled in if this went well today. So um, you know, I, I think seeing as he appreciates the track so well, I, I think I think that might be a logical option. Um, but obviously, I will t I will talk to the, the owners who have been massive supporters of mine. Um, they know a lot more about racing than I do, so. Um, they'll have a lot to say about it. They were delighted, weren't they? You could see all of them in the paddock. Absolutely, but the, the, you know, they're wonderful owners, but the, the main contingent of owners are Australian syndicate that um, um, have been very good to me. You know, they, they owned El Bodigon, who was my first group one winner. So, um, you know, with the, with the plan being for these horses to go down and run in Australia for the amount of prize money that they have. So, um, you know, this looks like a perfect candidate for, for down there later on in the season. It's interesting to hear that you were already planning sort of listed pattern route with him even before this race because quite often you'll see a horse that wins this race go up through that sort of valuable three-year-old handicap route. So you're, you're leaving that behind because you think he's, he, this is a pattern class horse, I'm going to campaign in that way. Well, it's lovely when a plan comes together and if we hadn't won by so far, I'd probably be saying go for a handicap. <laughs> but um, no, he, he's obviously shown a bit of class and um, 
you know, I, I think it, it's good to dream big. And, um, you know, sometimes if you, if you have the opportunities like this, you know, you have to take them with both hands. Well, you certainly have today. Two really impressive horses, the stars of the day, I think. Uh, many congratulations. Well done. Well, long may it continue. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank Bye you. now. Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.